Hey fellow Villers, what's up? I hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome to another video where today we're back in the park checking out what's new. So as soon as we load up here, we'll get started. I wonder what the loading screen will have for us today. Maybe the new Kite Dragon or something else. Let's wait and see. As soon as we finish loading... Oh, we didn't get a screen today. Uh, no problem. So let's get started. We'll get going with uh, our quests for Gia. Then we found a couple of gems. Let's do number one on the chest. Oh, nicely done. And try number three for a gem. Pick those perfectly this time. That's a first, I think. And let's go check out what Kairos is up to. He's all done on his quest. And we got two keys here, so should we try one and three like we did the last time? Why not? We'll try one and three. Not bad. We couldn't have gone wrong with the second choice. Two and three were three gems. So that's a pretty good uh, win on those. So let's uh, start our quests again. I usually like doing the quest, quest right after so I don't forget. So we got to remember November and that's going to be a topaz dragon which is everyone knows a gem dragon so let's go get our topaz dragon I'm pretty sure I got one of those out in the park I remember spending the first year all the gem dragons came out each month getting the new gem dragon and some months I didn't I wasn't lucky I didn't get the gem dragon so I had to wait till the next year or the bring them back event in order to get the one that I the one gem that I didn't get or the two or three I don't remember which ones I didn't get but I think I got most of them but where is our topaz dragon I gotta go back all or down the list all the way to the level 10 dragons here we go and we'll get our topaz dragon if he's in the park. There's turquoise. Topaz right there. So that's for the remember November. Which makes sense because topaz is your November gem dragon. And let's do Kiros here. Get a quest going on Kiros. The skeletal pedestal. There's a lava right there at level 20. We're going to go with that one. So we got our quest going. Now, let's check out our nursery. And we've got a Inferno Dragon. And I already have three, and I'm pretty sure I have a, a Twin Inferno, but I'm going to go into my Dragonarium and quickly check. Scroll all the way down to the eyes. Sorry. <laughs> Inferno is right here, and I do have a twin. Right there, the second one. And that means that I can display this egg. And that gives me a twin Inferno pedestal. There you are right there. Have I got room for you over here? I can put you there. Which is the worst place you can probably put a pedestal because you can't even see it. And uh, I'm going to take some time later on and organize all those pedestals. And now we have a nectar dragon. And it looks like we are good with the nectar. So we're going to sell this one. Because my whole thing, you can collect as many eggs of one dragon as you want or as many dragons of the same kind as, that you want. But I'm just getting two of the same dragon and then a pedestal that's a regular and a twin. And here we have another twin and I've already got, I got five of this one and I got my two pedestals. So I'm going to sell you. And we got a couple of eggs still going there. 19 minutes left on this one. I think we'll finish you for one gem. An inferno and we're all set with the inferno and we're going to sell you. There it goes. Now we're going to check out our breeding cave 
And we didn't get the Dragon Raptor, which is the new Nether Dragon. So we're going to try again to see if we can get him. Now I know you can check out your breeding times. And it's a 12 hour breeding time on this dragon. And it looks like I haven't got him again. Nine and a half hours. And we're still trying for the Nether on the the breeding island. And let's see if we got him this time. Nope. So we're going to try once again with a paper and a forge. And then we got our co-op where we're trying to get our double leap year dragon. Which we've been trying for a long time if you've been watching the previous videos. Um, and again, we did not get the double leap year. So we're going to try again. And keep our fingers crossed. I don't like checking the breeding time all the time because it's kind of disappointing if it's not the right breeding time. You kind of know you don't have that dragon. I like checking back a little later because I'm not, I don't have enough gems. Well, I got a lot of gems, but I don't want to use all my gems for speeding up the breeding because I want to save those because there's an event coming that I may need to use them for. But let's cash out our food. And then restart our food again with our regrow button. Do that really nice and quick. There we go. Whoops. Hit the info button there. And regrow you. And I think we missed one here. There we go. That's all the all our farms going for more food. We got our gems off our gem island and we're going to cash out all our dragons habitats. Quickly do that. And get our rainbow island that yields quite a few coins every time we cash them out. It works really well for building up your coins quickly. And go through the rest of our islands, get the rest of our coins. There's our Colosseum all done. And we got our five gems. And you can go in here and tap trophies so you can see all the recent wins. And I got a lot of golds because I'm using level 20 dragons each time. Or elder dragons. That's the best way to uh, speed up your, your gem collection as well. Using level 20 dragons on your Colosseum. So we got a cold here and I have an elder cold which I'm going to use for the Colosseum. And get some more gems, collect the rest of our coins here. There we go. And cash out the rest of these. Remember the new large treasure habitat, which I think looks pretty awesome. And it holds up to four treasure dragons. Right now I've got four in there. But there's a couple of duplicates. That's why I like having two dragons of each kind. You can fill up your habitats when you need to. Okay, so that's all our coins cashed out. And our Colosseum restarted. And let's go get our gems from our gifts that our friends have shared with us and I've got some I can send to people so I just send them a gem send them a gem I got a few below on the list here below my um, twin dragons that I need to send to first sorry guys I'll scroll down quickly through all my twin dragons this is the benefit of having lots of friends in your game center or if you're on Android 
uh, lots of friends through uh, Facebook, you do tend to get a lot more twin dragons, which is very cool. So I'm going to send some gems to these first few people that sent me gems the other day. And uh, give you a... And uh, clear them. And find a couple more people here. Clear you. I have. He's on Android. I give him the gem on Android. Uh, this one. And I have. I think one more person that I regularly give gems to each day. Clear that out. And you check out the news, the new kite dragon, as you can see, is back, and the pearl dragon's back for this month. And the nether, which is the one we're trying to get right now, and still haven't. And the bearded dragon has returned. So I can find you the combos of those dragons. Now we've got... Uh, all our gems from our gifts and let's go change the weather here or the background to the twilight tower always nice to change it every once in a while let's go spooky well we're gonna leave that for the for the uh, Halloween season let's go summer try the summer background Oh, we did that. I remember doing that the other day. I'm going to change that to a different one. Let's try the rose. Which we just had. So, let's go to day. And that's the regular one, which is fine. And then we have our weather, our weather station. We'll change that. We have rose, we had dandelions the other day, and we'll just do maybe, I don't want rain, starfall, starfall or storm. Let's have a stormy, sunny day. How's that for a crazy mix? Lightning on a sunny, on a sunny and slightly cloudy day. Why not? And then let's finish off with a few uh, dragon races or racetracks. Sorry, <laughs> racetracks over on the other side of the Dragon Park, over side Dragonville Park. And we'll do a few races today. Here's Bright Valley, which is light and plant. And my guess on that one is a luminous. We're gonna race a luminous dragon for that one. Here we go. Perfect. Look at that little meadow dragon out in front. And he's whipping down the track ahead of us. We gotta pass you. Come on, come on, catch up to that meadow. Go, go, go. Getting closer. All right. First, we almost lost that one. But we just passed the meadow at the last minute. Or at the last second. We got one key. Let's open the third chest and uh, that's a fail on that one. <laughs> so I'm going to try another one. Shiny Veil again. So we got the Luminous a second time. Let's race him one more time. And we're not doing too well with this Luminous Dragon. He's a bit slow. He's speeding up a bit now. Come on, down the track you go. Let's move it, pick it up. And we got second place on that one. So he was kind of slow there. I don't know if that was me or just the dragon. But let's try number one and see what we got. Uh, not bad. Not bad. A little better than the last one. But you get what you get, right? Rhyme or reason, we got snow and air. And I'm going to say a... Storm, maybe a, a snow dragon, or a blizzard dragon, but we're going to try a snow dragon on this one. 
And some people like to tap before they get to the first bar. That's supposed to give them a bit of a boost, but I haven't found that to be the case. I always just wait till he gets to that line, and they usually dart out or they don't. But Snow Dragon is doing great in this race, and he's passing everybody, getting nice and far ahead, winning the race. Got two keys here. 315 was the center. Uh, uh, we didn't get the jam, but we got lots of coins, which is nice. I like that. And let's do one more race here. And I think that's Earth, Plant, and Fire. Let's go with the Carnival Dragon and the Cherry Road Racetrack. And he's neck and neck so far. Neck and neck with that Flower Dragon. Is he going to pull ahead? He's starting to pull ahead. Got a perfect, a great, so he's going to I love the way this guy runs. <laughs> That's awesome. That's very cool. He's really putting out an effort there. Go Carnival. And we got one key, so let's try chest number three. Ah, we got the top prize. Very cool. That's a great way to end the races. Now, one thing I used to wonder was the, if we look at, try to pick a, Here's a good one. If you look at the outlines around all these dragons here, you see they're all purple. Let's go to another habitat. And now we got our blue outline on these dragons. So if you do want to know what those outlines mean, we all know the thick yellow outline is a twin dragon, or that gold outline. But all you have to do is go to your Dragonarium Enter your Dragonarium, and down in the lower left, hit that Help button. And all those outlines are explained in this Help menu, or this Help window. So you can see all the different colors, starting with the blue, and purple, and this light blue, orange, and red. And you hit the More button. Say so we'll hit the More button on the red, and it'll explain the, those types of dragons. So this is a rare, rarity dragon, and it's a legendary. And you can just read about it to, to, to learn what all those colors mean. And then you have a few other icons here. The uh, exclamation mark is a new. The limited time dragons have this little hourglass in the green, and then unavailable is the hourglass in the gray. And then there's a few others. And one thing I was always wondering was the gem, uh, the stars, what were the, they were all about. But it explains here that you get the stars when you complete a collection, or each dragon gives you uh, a few more stars in your collection. But I'm not sure exactly what you use the stars for, if anything. Right now, they're just something you collect. And you can see how many stars you have right down here at the bottom of your dragonarium. You have 191. If you go into your epic, I think it gives you the stars just for your epic dragons. So there you go. That explains the colors around all the different dragons, which used to confuse me. I didn't know if I should hold on to those dragons with the colors or not. But they're just indicators. Alright, so that wraps up our visit to the park for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos from the Vale. We'll see you next time.